What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random. And if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, this is all you need to know about me, okay? Um, I'm the type of guy that wears a polo shirt with basketball shorts. Uh, nice to meet you. Now sitting behind me is my 1990 C4 Corvette. And this video is about 11 things that will fail, not possibly, maybe there's a possibility, maybe not my car, I'm exempt, no. 11 things that are guaranteed to fail on your 1985 to 1991 C4 Corvette. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start this shit show. All right, guys, and the first thing we're gonna start with is the pop-up headlights. Now, thankfully, that's not much of a problem because Chevy included this little nifty uh, little knob right here that you turn it and your headlights will manually kind of swing forward allowing you to be able to see at night. Except that knob right there, yeah, it's gonna fail too. At which point your C4 Corvette is gonna start winking at other cars as you drive by. Making it look like a drunken divorced dad at the local bar. My nickname for this old girl, I call her Ray Charles, obviously because it's blind as a bat and I can't even drive the damn thing at night. And next up on the list is the infamous VATS system, V-A-T-T-S. It's an ancient 30 something year old security system that works with your ignition and a special chip that came with your uh, C4 Corvette key. You guys will notice there's no chip on this key. There's a reason for that. Now you see the system, it was uh, actually designed to prevent the theft of Corvettes back in the 80s, but now 30 years later, its only purpose is to leave your ass stranded in the middle of the hood or in the Nevada desert or pretty much anywhere. Yep, you'll be then forced to uh, hotwire some cables under the steering column, uh, a Breaking Bad style. Make our way back under the hood because the next one, Oh man, it, I can't, it's, you know it's bad when I can barely even fit a freaking GoPro in there. Here, look, give me a second. Okay, here we go. The next one is, guys, the freaking water pump. Not only is it located directly behind the front frame of the car, look at everything else that you need to get out of the way before you can pull this giant thing out of there. Now this next one is by far one of my favorite ones. Because unless you have a C4 Corvette with under 50,000 miles on it, uh, chances are your steering wheel, it's gonna do something like this. Now, a lot of people don't know that uh, every C4 Corvette has some type of O-ring or seal that is located in your steering column. Now, the purpose of that is to prevent uh, vibrations or excessive play on your steering wheel when you're doing high speeds or you're taking this thing on the track or whatever. The problem is that getting out of one of these cars is so hard and awkward that most people use the damn steering wheel ugh, as leverage to get out of the car. Now, you can imagine a featherweight like myself uh, pulling on the steering wheel every time I get out of the car for the next 30 plus years. Yeah, um, your steering wheel will be wobbly too. Now, this next one actually isn't that bad and that is the removable top uh, headliner, as you guys can see. Now, if you thought the 2000s Chevy interior quality was bad, yeah, imagine 80s materials. And next up is the cup holder spring. You see, after 30 years, it stretches out and loses its elasticity. Kind of like my ex-wife after having eight kids. Or the string on my basketball shorts. After a while, the cup holder door can't stay closed anymore, at which point it just kind of flops around. Now, I'm sure most Corvette owners, uh, they can relate to that. And next up is the speakers. Now, the speakers, they were designed for 1980s audio systems. So the moment you plug in either a modern phone or a modern radio system, you can say goodbye to your speakers as they will blow out. That's if you even have speakers. Yeah, the ones in this vet. <laughs> yeah, they were stolen back in 94. Weight reduction, baby. Next up, it's going to be the weather stripping. Check this thing out. Look at that. Ugh. Pretty much all weather stripping right here uh, by the front A-pillar and windows along with the removable top. Yeah, it'll all dry out and crack. Uh, you'll then get free car washes along with your car for the rest of your life. 
and then we move on to the power mirrors um you see the gears inside the power mirrors yeah they're gonna fail usually depends on what mirror that's adjusted the most in this case the driver's side mirror oh god check this out and next up it's gonna be the antenna uh, you see all vets came with this super cool super 80s retractable antenna the problem is that most plastic gears that bring it up and down fail now in the case of the previous owner who had this car he shoved the regular car antenna in there then he epoxied the hell out of the hole leaving it permanently erect kind of like a corvette owner on a overdose of viagra and we're making our way back to the engine compartment because i saved the best for last guys and that's going to be the fuel pressure regulator this damn demon is in constant competition with the vet system to see who can leave you stranded the most it's also a pain in the ass to change as it's located behind the engine which means that you're gonna have to remove the center part of your intake manifold along with your fuel rails to do the job properly and keep whatever is left of your sanity intact and that is gonna be it for today's video guys now yes although there are a lot of things that will fail in your c4 vet notice not one of them was the actual engine or transmission that's because it's a chevy baby Come on! Damn it! Baby, I need you to do me a favor. Don't ask any questions. Just, just, how many toes do we still have left on AAA? That's because it's a Chevy, baby. 